This video intended for entertainment and informative purposes only, but the live commentary may not reflect this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, hey, everybody, it's Clonoclex9999. And me. It's been a while. Hello, Mook, as I recently learned is the pronunciation of your username. No, 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 no. MK. Say MK. Uh, MK is better. Uh, MK. Okay, I'll call you MK from now on. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um... Anyways, welcome back more Minecraft 1.19.2 Clone and Community Overworld, and by the way, there has been an update for the Quark mod. It wasn't the 1.20 version. But, uh, in this episode, um, as you can see, a lot, um, a lot of stuff has changed. The cliffside has changed. Dramatically. Yeah. So, to explain exactly, um, how this all got started, as you know, we're often on the server, like, when we're not recording, like, usually I'm doing stuff in the kitchen, or building, or someone else's building, and we also, um, go exploring, uh, off-camera to see if there's any, or to see if there's anything we can explore, and, uh, there was a time, and, I, what, well, and we, we do have the create mod, as you, the create mod installed, as you know, and also, as you know, in, uh, Farmer's Delight, there's this item called the Rotten Tomato that I really like. You can throw them. And recently I learned that with with the Create mod, you can actually make Rotten Tomatoes with bulk haunting. And that was what made me actually want to start like using the Create mod. And uh for um and uh we got that and we got that started and uh as you can see um MK here has been making an entire factory. And, uh, because, uh, he knows how to use the create mod and I don't really, um, he's going to be explaining ex just exactly how everything works here. I'm actually getting a little bit of slowdown because of, there's so much stuff on screen. Yeah, create is very resource intensive, and okay. I've not really helped it by building so many things. Well, <laughs> it's, just, it's just a little bit of lag. It's not like it's going to affect the whole, the whole game. So, uh, what do you... What do you say you go ahead and explain just how everything works? Or at the very least, what everything is? Um, should I assume that the viewer understands the create mod to a degree? I mean, Like the basic principles. I mean, I don't really understand create to a degree, but I guess you can. Well... Yeah, I'll just well, first, first go over the basics. Want, first, one I, first, I want to mention that is that most of the machines are actually behind this polished andesite wall. Well, not most of them. Mostly just this machine specifically right here. Oh, okay. uh, there's a lot of writing, but create works off of a very simple system, which is rotational force. Mm -hmm. And if you follow me, uh, there are a lot of ways to create rotational force. This is the end game way of creating rotational force. As in, like, after steam engines. As end game, as in after we've defeated the dragon. No, no, no. Like this is the most advanced steam product or stress uh, rotational force production you can get. Okay, sorry. A and basically, it produces an amount of stress, which is a the capacity of your network. And then you have machines, Stone like, deployer. say, this deployer here, that consume the stress. And you can add a bunch of machines and a bunch of producers to the same network, but if the amount of stress you're consuming exceeds the amount of stress that you're producing, uh, the network shuts down and everything stops working. So you have to balance that and make sure you have enough power production. Mm. Uh, it's, it's a very fun mod. It, it really likes to go down the principle of don't stick it in one block and have that one tiny block do everything. It's very open. And I think that's it's a good It's build your own multi-blocks, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I don't have a demonstration ready. Um, give me a second. I guess... To be fair, we didn't really build anything to demonstrate how everything works. Like, for example, one of the things it does... Give me a second. What? I'll be right back. Okay, I kind of wanted to show how the elevator works. We work. don't want to do the reveal too early. I need to do a demo first, you know? Oh, oh, good point, actually. I guess, can I can I show, like, what's behind the wall? 
It's mostly just routing, though I suppose, yeah, the little haunting system. Yeah, uh, that yeah. soul fire right there is actually what we used to make the Rotten Tomatoes. I still find it kind of surreal. I think I think it's really cool that like all these newer Minecraft mods are all like interconnected. How so? Well, for one thing, some... I, you know we have a bunch of Farmer's Delight add-ons, right? Mm -hmm. There's like... Like, the delightful one is compa compatible with so many different mods. Like, it's compatible with Twilight Forest, it's compatible with Biomes of Plenty, Oh, the Biomes You'll Go, yeah. and some other mod that's blanking on me. Sorry, be going. <laughs> so, here's a demo of a Create Your Own Multi-Block Machine that you can do with Create. Uh-huh. So it can process a lot of different materials. This is one of the create added crafting recipes for a component that you craft. Well, use for higher tier things. Yeah. Uh, but probably a more interesting example of production if we go down a level. Which? Hold on. Let me show some. Let me. Uh, I'm sure you've noticed the elevator over here. Okay. I was going to look at the spout thing, but it there's like 155 things you can make with it. Go on. What were you saying? So down here is where I'm... Because up here, this is like my workshop area. I, I just do random things. Like, say, this deployer is for creating create things that I use for crafting other things. Same with this mixer, this saw blade, this press. I like how it's a finger. So we'll be going And then downstairs, here. I have two large machines currently. Soon will be more. Mm -hmm. The big one right here is an ore processor that gives you the amount of field for your ores that you could possibly ask for. Mm -hmm. And it's very complex. And then this one over here, I like this one. This one is an automatic barrel manufacturing. For so those of you who have played Create may know that you end up using a lot of barrels. So this comes in use. Uh, let me fetch something. I will be right back. So I have some wood here, and I'm going to stick it into the input chest, and we can see it crank up. Jeez. Now, if this is an automation, I don't know what is. It, it, it really... And over here, we have the actual final barrel processing. Gosh. Oh my god, it's like... Oh, yeah, this is like all, this is like a automatic crafting. Yeah. Creates auto crafting system is possibly the best I've seen in how it handles it. Well, very enjoyable. Yeah, I if you guys are if you guys want me to do a mod showcase on the create mod, I probably won't do one. But um, but because I, it's gonna take me a long time to to be on the same level of of knowledge as MK is. And then. Over this way, I just have another personal use machine, giant crushing wheels. Can you actually get another crushed? Personal use can, machine. You get, can you actually get crushed by this and die? Yes. <laughs> you want to try it? I kind of do, but kind of don't. Oh, I like this over here. You've been like obsidian grinding. Oh yes, this this is train lava train. You can go to the other pair, side. It's a freaking uh, railway car. Yes, it's great. Um, I'll just start it going automatically. <laughs> I love manually. I love that so much. Here, I'm gonna follow you. Um, I do have mob spawning off, by the way. So Watch your step. It is very easy to fall off. What? Uh, Was that mm. supposed to? Yes, happen? we didn't come through in time. Did Did you? The die? train automatically returned. Sh okay, should I teleport to you again? Uh, sure. Unfortunately, there won't be a train over here. But yeah, I just have a tiny little station over here. You can't fall through where I anyway. pump lava. Okay. Um, I do like how you use the uh, crimson wood. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're like because you you need a lot of lava. <laughs> Look at that magma cube bubbling on the lava. But does it does it like actually remove lava source blocks or does it? Uh, so, if you have 100,000 lava source blocks, or actually any source block, in one pool, Create considers it to be infinite and won't drain it. 
I'm really happy for that. Mm-hmm. Which, one of the very endgame achievements is create an infinite pool of chocolate, which is Whoa. very difficult. Whoa. Look and also that, an infinite pool another, of honey. But... The nether portal is like making, is like giving the the rails or, um, a little purple glow. A tint, yeah. <laughs> Create is cool like that. Mm. Definitely one of the best mods. Is it for 1.12? Uh, I was just at, maybe, I'm asking, but I'm it's, it's a very different game mod. Like create I'm, is constantly changing balance. And stuff. I know, and I, I was just asking for us, Dennis's sake. Mm, yeah. Okay, so we going down or up? Well, down is not very interesting. Well, I guess I'll show it anyway. Yeah. Ow! That. What what hit me? Yes, that happens. I, I don't know why. I need to fix it. Oh yeah, there's this little cave. But here. I guess this this is just cave. Okay. Okay. Let let, let me do no, this. Very time. interesting. Here. Um, basically how this works is you uh you scroll your mouse wheel, um, and uh, that and it and then you uh, right click, and that takes you to the level. Mhm. Mm and uh, sometimes zombie piglets will in here. Okay, and uh, this, the workshop, and now the office. Specifically, this is the office. It's still under construction. Well, it's me. it's your office. I mean, it's your factory, so it's your office, I guess. What's the what's the story with the Enderman here? Um, all the grass you see is not placed by me. This entire area was natural hole in the ground, and when I discovered it perfectly on level with the level I was building at, I decided I would incorporate it instead of deleting it. And the Enderman was just sitting in it, so no reason <laughs> to kick him out. <laughs> should, we, should we give him a name so he doesn't despawn? He, he doesn't despawn. I think he's in too small of a space to do it. Oh, okay. I don't know why. Alright, um... And then this way isn't really office, it's more the outside. Hmm, I like it. Oh, and uh, you built this too. We were talking about uh, building like a like a greenhouse for bees, because I, you know, my bees have been having problems with them aggroing on me, even though there's campfires. But, uh, you beat me to it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just build one anyway. Oh, also, yeah. um, I want to talk, talk about the bees real quick. Um, the Quark mod has this thing where sometimes when bees come out of their hive, they'll actually have, like, a rainbow pattern on them, and, uh, they're actually all, um, like, pride flag patterns. Um, but I, but you can disable that in the config if you want, but I also, um, it's client side, but I also made it, made it so, at least on my screen, um, that whenever they, when the bees come out of their hives, they will always have a rainbow pattern on them. I call them rain bees. Totally forgot to wax this. I'm gonna have to fix that later. Okay. Oh wait. And then also up here is trees, endless trees, all the trees you could ever need. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. You. you also... uh, I wouldn't stand there. I, I. I would not stand there. Oh. 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 I didn't even see the blades there. I was about to say. And you can also get pushed around by this. But <laughs> man, that would have sawed my legs off. Does that like instantly? Kill it would have hurt a lot. Wait a minute. Uh, maybe if you're not wearing armor. I kind of want to see what the death message is going to be. <laughs> okay, it just does five damage. <laughs> yeah. I'm not one. I, you know, I don't like abusing keep inventory, but that was just funny. <laughs> and then in here is part of the great yield from these efforts. Oh, honeyed apples. I haven't actually eaten one of these, but they look delicious. I'm actually trying to uh, eat the uh, full course meals to get an advancement that, uh, what? Uh, that to get an advancement uh, that, um, that, uh, that is for eating all the full, full course meals. And, uh, I guess real quick, I can also explain that I did install some more, uh, Farmer's Delight add-ons. I, uh, installed a Pineapple Delight, Festive Delight, Coffee Delight, um... I wanted to install uh, fast food delight, miners delight, uh, Italian delight, um, collectors reap, hostile delight, and uh, 
I also inst uh, reinstalled uh, Bruin and Chewin. The reason I uninstalled it was because um, I actually had a g had the game crash when I was making an item called Kimchi, and I don't know why, but that was like a fluke or something. Cause anytime, uh, cause I it only ever crashed one time. I mean, I only ever tried to make it again one time, and I probably won't be making it again in the near future. I guess I could also, also explain that we also have the voice chat mod installed. That was um, a suggestion by Stenish, and we took it, and uh, I think it actually works out for the better, because the the, the voice chat you mod... Get in here. The voice chat audio is actually not affected by the, um, the master volume. Should I not have rang that? Uh... Those don't do anything. They're just there. Hey! Toll a haunted sure bell. This corner is. <laughs> like a patch on the issue. Okay, um, is there anything else to show? Uh, no, I think that's pretty much everything. I mean, there's one minor thing which you may have missed. Oh, uh. Getting up here. Oh, yeah, also, you, uh, you took out the, uh, main portions of the, uh, skeleton dungeon here. Which I guess we're gonna revamp yeah. it, but um, you told me about this thing that actually allows us to pick up and to pick up monster spawners and bring them elsewhere. Yes. So by doing that, we can bring, we can get a zombie spawner here and a spider spawner, as well as a blaze yeah. spawner and a magma cube spawner. I think those are the Mag only five. Okay. Oh, and a cave spider spawner as well, and possibly a silverfish spawner. I think those are the only seven mods mobs that, as of one point nineteen, can uh, naturally generate in monster spawners. Oh yes. This way, just a lot of structure. Yeah. Board. You also took out the uh, minecart system and did this uh, faster um, conveyor belt system. Gabe says he misses the uh, minecart system, but I, I think this is I think this is for the better. It's very fast. Um, Definitely very fast. And also, if you throw items on it, they will just they actually they'll just stay there and they won't disappear. Um, and then the last thing I should show off. Yeah is the we solution to the XP problem, which any of you Minecraft vets out there know precisely what I'm talking about when I say it involves an end portal. Oh yeah, we've been getting end portal frames from Lucky Blocks. And that has stuff to do with it, right? Yes. Uh, those Over are, here. Um, those are from Jacinta. Jacinta's also been doing a lot of building. Um... She actually built this little um, replica of the uh, main end island, um, where we uh, uh, where we have the uh, original dragon egg on display. Voice crack. The original dragon egg, won by Celery, Gabe, and Stenish, and she used um, she used a uh, black corundum to uh, represent the uh, end crystals. I think she did a pretty good job. We built an end portal. And. And once again, it was because we were apparent. Apparently, one of us got insanely lucky with the lucky blogs. What the heck is that? I haven't seen this. Moss blocks on endstone. Uh, specifically, two moss carpets on top of each other. Sorry. Two stacked carpets can't be teleported to. Oh yeah, someone was. Oh yeah, you were telling. I think somebody was telling me about um, better way I can uh, have my, make my bee farm using moss carpets. An Enderman. Fa well, oh, nice man. knowing you. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, <laughs> you've been making an Enderman farm, and uh, they've been targeting and they've been targeting an Endermite that's in here, and um. As a result of that, we've been able to get a crap ton of ender pearls. Sure, down here. Don't fall off. Very precise. Do you have them auto dumping? Uh, uh yeah, I, yeah, I think they are. Well, uh, I'm gonna go back. Yeah. 
And I guess I'll cut out the part of me and of us going back to the end portal. Or the overworld portal. I do appreciate this as well. I think Jacinta, I think, uh, Jacinta built this little stone mushroom platform thing to add to a protect to as a, as protection from uh, the Endermen when grinding off of them. Which is now obsolete. Yeah. Speaking of Jacinta, I guess we I guess I can go uh, show off her house. Her house. Um, she's been uh, she's been uh, doing a lot of work on it. That was when she was paying me back for like the three diamonds I gave her. Oh, I guess I could point that and point out that up there, that uh, mangrove path up there. So you know how one of the classic things to build in Minecraft is a roller coaster. Yes. Well, basically that's what I've been doing. I was built. I've been building a roller coaster that uh, goes all around the town area, and I even made it made it go all the way up to World Height. And I did that for two reasons. Um. Well, actually, I think it was one reason. One of them was that so we could get that achievement or advancement where um you uh where you trade with a villager at world height. All right, here's uh Jacinta's house, and uh, I really love that this castle look that she's got going on here. She tamed the uh, uh, Shiba named uh, Mocha or Mocha, and I think I think you tame Shibas with uh just bones. Um, she's also got a bunch of cats, and, uh, she's really good at decorating. Um, she even has, uh, her own little maid right here. Um, this is, a uh, uh, Nymphia. She's, uh, her hair is brown, and as you can see, she's got a blinking, some of the models actually have a blinking animation. Um, while well, she doesn't, or, or, well, my, my little maid doesn't, at least. Um. And, uh, I liked how she used, like, the, uh, trap doors as like for like a for like shelves that i think was really creative and uh, up here uh, you have to crawl over here for some reason i don't know why she did that here we um we are in the spire and now you know is there a mod what the <laughs> okay is there a mod anywhere where uh you can uh were you gonna jump into glass panes and smash through them? Probably not. I mean, you can go look for one, but I doubt it. Maybe. She also built this um, this tree, this custom tree right here, which I think looks really good. Um, maybe when one, maybe when we update the one point twenty, uh, we'll we'll uh, replace this with a cherry wood. But I'm not sure yet. Oh, uh, speaking of farmers' delight, by the way. Um, I just saw the corn, so it reminded me. Um, we were going to install an add-on called a Corn Delight, and it added cool stuff. It added nachos. It added popcorn. <laughs> but it was actually brought to my attention that um, the Corn Delight add-on actually um, uses, quote, stolen assets, which I don't really understand, but I decided to just remove it anyway. It means that someone else created the assets for a different mod. Then the Corn Delight people went and took those assets without asking if they needed to pay or something for those assets. Well, I knew what it meant, but, um, but, uh... This right here is a, a little workbench as a, a backpack filter configure. I have no idea how this thing works. Like if I go into useful backpacks and uh you know just enough items. We also have these uh, two items called the auto pickup filter and they don't know what these do either. They have similar crafting recipes. And also uh between videos I learned how an observer works. That little light right there on detects on when a block changes. And I guess I didn't show this either. I actually gave my little maid a name. I named her Pinku, and Pinku is um, uh, she's Pinku is a uh, pink in Japanese. I decided I would name um each color of, the, of my little maids after uh, the co the colors in Japanese. Uh, 
Let's see, is there anything else I wanted to show? Do you, is there anything you wanted to show? Nope. Uh, well, in that case, uh, let's do what we can do for the rest of the video. And that is um, warp around to my various waypoints and show um, the loot chests for the things that we found. You gonna um, do you want to come with me? I mean, I was planning on going to the end farm and grinding for a looting book. Um, all right, I'll go ahead and do that myself then. I'll let you know what I find um, in the loot chests. Have fun. Thank you. Uh, let's see. We also want to go to that other ocean monument as well. Uh, let's see. Let's see, we have this, um, I think I've been here before, actually. Oh yeah, I, I mean, uh, on, on camera, I mean. Here we go, um, this, uh, this desert village, um, it's actually, I only come here occasionally, and there's actually a wandering trader here that has not despawned since, because... Um, I kept I keep coming back and forth. So yeah, he doesn't have anything good though. This chest has um, cacti, bread, and rice. This chest also has a lot of cacti and bread. This, cac this chest has a lot of bread, a lot of bread, um, and some wheat and, and a dead bush. Well, dead bushes are useful useful for something. Decoration. Well, yeah, but you can also get sticks from them. Well, this one's got clay in it in a book, and presumably um, you can get a straw from it by using a knife on it. A ton of hay bales here. I'm honestly thinking I could just come here if I'm ever like starving for wheat. I also had a, a bunch of lucky blocks uh, marked on for a, for a while before I just decided to remove them because for obvious reasons. This chest has tomato seeds. Do you, do you have tomatoes? Uh, we have tomatoes somewhere. I'm fairly certain. I mean. Once we have one, we can just bring him back. Oh yeah, I also didn't show this, but um, I actually have a uh, these two shields right here that um, that I you actually used um, a loom to uh, put uh, b banner patterns on on my shields. I've got um, a thing which is the Mojang logo and a creeper, so that's pretty cool. Um, basically, how I get well, I guess I could show how the uh, loom works at the end of the video. Um, and also, yes, I did sacrifice an entire enchanted golden apple to make, um, the thing banner pattern. You know, the armorers in the desert villagers are smarter than the ones in the plains village, because for some reason, they put the blast furnace, like, in the wall, and for some reason, what the villager, like, jumps up on the counter and go tries to get to it from the side, and, d and doesn't go, like, into the chimney like any sane person would. I might have shown that in a video, I don't remember. This just got more clay, more rice. I might put some of the stuff in the free chest so, eh, so anyone can have stuff that they need that I don't really... Hello. Saddles, not bad. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I can actually um, use shears on a saddle and a cutting board to get um, two leather and two iron nuggets. Here's another desert village I don't think I've shown. This chest has seven obsidian, two apples, bread, and a saddle. 
That uh, automated tr automated tree farm can work with uh, any tree, right? Uh, other trees will have a slightly harder time because of their growth restrictions. Okay. <clears throat> oh, cartographer! I actually I want to keep this guy in mind because um, if I'm not mistaken, if you trade enough with a car with a cartographer, they can actually give you a map that brings you to like generated structures. Yes. Oh man, I might do that between videos. My headset's falling off. I'm actually using like a uh, one-eared headset because you were uh, you were pointing out that you can actually like hear hear your voice echoing. You heard me there, right? Uh, no lag. Uh, Slight yeah. issue with using in-game voice chat is that lag turns it off. Mm. Well, if it ever becomes a problem, we can always just switch to Discord. Right? I suppose. <clears throat> another, de another desert village. I sat down on, on the... Kind of surprised the, uh... <laughs> they didn't come after me after I, after I threw an egg at that villager. The desert villages seem to have the, uh, most loot chests. Do you notice? I don't usually raid villages, so I wouldn't know. Hmm. I don't I don't raid villages, I just steal their stuff. Oh, actually, wait, uh, this isn't too far away from, uh, there's some wild tomatoes over there. This isn't too far away from where me and Gabe uh, stopped during that one video, and there's, a, um, there's another desert temple here. So, uh, excuse me. So I guess I'll go ahead and explore. I'll tell you what's in the chests if you want anything from them. All right. Do you want the TNT? Eh. All right. Let's see what you got. Yeah, I have a ton of rotten flesh, two diamonds, bunch of bones, iron horse armor, and an enchanted book with respiration three. This one's got sand, rotten flesh, bones, and string. Uh, this one's got two emeralds, gunpowder, spider eyes, and an enchanted book with quick charge one. And this one has gold, emeralds, and more horse armor. Do you want anything? No. Okay. I think only like 60% of the footage in this video is going to be used. Actually, never mind. Um, I'll, I'll show the loom off when I get home. Building suspense. <laughs> this village uh, was discovered by Jacinta when she was out traveling. And uh, we actually found a... Uh, um, spruce village. I gotta be honest with you, I kind of don't like it when uh, villager buildings have multiple of a block that give a, a, a villager a profession, because, I mean, I guess more jobs for more villagers, but, um, but, uh, like, like, you, you, you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. 
due to more encoding overloads, I decided to actually uh, lower the resolution of the video to a 720p to see if um, see if that'll help. But this village is actually kind of weird. Um, all of the buildings seem to look the same, and this this lucky block structure generated in, inside this wall. I think Jacinta took everything that's in here, so... There's a lot of pumpkins here, though. You, you want pumpkins? Uh, I'll be fine. Alright. Alright, what are we checking out next? I think there's another desert temple I can look at. Crap, actually, I don't, I don't have my, uh... Respiration helmet. All of it. Actually, wait, I just got a respiration book. Why don't I put it on my, uh... Why don't I... Oh, don't tell me I left it behind. Oh, it was in my inventory the whole time. I are schmer. Okay, anyways, I've got a Respiration 3 book on me. Why don't I just put it on my normal helmet? I think that rightfully cost me six levels. Okay. Doesn't it doesn't have Aqua Affinity on it though, so I might have to Do I actually have an Aqua Affinity book? Uh wrong chest. Um there's mending. Uh no, I don't. This waypoint this waypoint is called Ocean Stuff. And uh Don't really remember what I what I marked here. Oh, there's a shipwreck right here. Um I don't have Death Strider. And, uh, this shipwreck should have a chest in it. And it's not waterlogged for some reason. Uh, this one's got, uh, emeralds and stuff in it. I'm being- am I being a greedy greed? In What's going on with your- game. What's going on with your voice? In it's all like staticky. Excuse me? I agree with the glitch earlier. Oh. Okay. Just just hit mute for now, okay? What? Uh just hit mute for now, I guess. Alright, so I think there's some ocean ruins down here as well. This one actually looks really cool. Don't know if there are any drowns around, I guess I'll put my armor on just in case. Oh, yeah, they spawned like right as soon as I got here. Did I get copper from that? Okay, I kind of liked it better when uh, drowns dropped gold. I'm not gonna dig for the chests, I'm just gonna get them if they're in plain view. Wow, I didn't realize how useless arrows were in, wa or in water till now. This chest has wheat and a fishing rod with curse of vanishing. Is there a way in create to uh, remove um, curse enchantments from items? Mm. Got another shipwreck here. This chest has. Uh, this one's got a compass. That's odd. I don't think I'm gonna really look for the treasure though because um.
Yeah, it might just lead me to a one that we've already been to. I think that maybe I think buried treasure maps are more fun early game if that makes sense. They definitely off game. Here's another ocean ruins with a ton of drowns. There's a tiny one here. Oh, this guy's got a knowledge shell. Uh, speaking of that, by the way, um, Jacinta has been fishing. She was a she actually managed to um, get a uh, um, enough to uh, get us enough nautilus shells so that we'd be able to make a conduit. And I would like to make one, but I don't really fully understand how a conduit works. I've never actually made one before. So I might uh, practice exactly how it works, like off camera, before making one in survival. I mean, all tier move back for one though. Doing survival in the end. All right. Won't you bring that? This just got a lot of coal and a fishing rod with the uh, luck at the C1. More ocean ruins. Oh, wow. Uh, this one's got a trident. Ooh. Let me grab my, uh... I don't have my knife. Ow. Okay. Let me grab my looting three store. I do. I already have a tri two tridents game. And also, how does a tr how do the do the drowns just immediately get their tridents back when they throw them? Oh, uh, they like darn it! I should have. I didn't pay attention to its health. But how could I have when I was panicking? No, I have one, and I'm saving it uh, so I can. I'm saving it so I can put uh, channeling on it. Get smite on my sword, so I'm able to take out the tridents pretty or the the uh, um, drowns pretty easily. Another fairy treasure map. Fishing around with Curse of Vanishing. Okay, and now for the rest of for the rest of it, I guess I will show the ruined portals. Um, I've been actually I've actually been uh I've actually been uh doing the uh, uh warping around and checking out the uh ruined portals that we found, and since I've negated the rule, I've actually decided to uh, go through them and see where they take me. Um, there's a gold block, of course, I'll get those as well. Uh, sharp, a golden axe with sharpness 5. Golden helmet, fortune 3 Poe.
This um, ruined portal actually took me to a, a second, uh, to a second um, Nether fortress. So I'd like to explore this in a future video. Mm. Saw a, I also saw a giant magma cube. This one I found is underwater. This one brought me into a crimson forest, but not quite far enough to where the basic nether water started spawning. Or generating. Spawning is uh, first to mobs. Oh, I forgot. This ruined portal is, ne is next to a uh, shipwreck. Also, there also should be a chest around here somewhere. This one's got a gold helmet, fire charge, and all that stuff. Alright, this chest right here has got a ton of iron in it. This one's got bamboo, pumpkin- ow! What was that? What are you doing in here? Okay. This one's got bamboo, cabbage seeds, um, leather, pants with thorns, one. I can also see a mine shaft on the mini-map, but I don't really care. Alright, we're in Portal 5. This one's in a mesa. And I actually use basalt to uh, make a little staircase. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, jeez. Um, this chest has a golden apple, golden helmet with unbreaking uh, 2, gold boots with thorns 3, gold legs with, pr with a protection 2, gold hoe with silk touch, gold hoe with efficiency 3. This ruined portal took me to a, uh, also took me to a crimson forest, and it took me to a bastion right there. I don't actually know if we've been to that bastion yet. Oh, actually, yeah, we have. I can see the waypoint right under, or have we? Bastion. Oh, man, I don't think we've been to that bastion, actually. So, uh, <clears throat> another future video, I guess. Ruined Portal 6, I believe, was also found in a, uh, in a mesa. Screw you, screw you for telling me it's called the Badlands, it's the mesa to me. I think I might put some of this gold in the free, in the free stuff chest too, because I have a ton of gold blocks. Uh, maybe I'll just make like 30 lucky blocks and then I'll put the rest of put the rest of the gold in the free stuff chest this one kind of brought me in the middle of nowhere at the chest there's another golden apple it's got a gold knife with backstabbing three. Golden Shovel with Mending, Golden Shovel with Fortune 1, Fire Charge, Golden Apple Obsidian. 
and Ruined Portal 7. I actually don't know if I uh, marked the one that we found in the last episode. Um, oh yeah, this was a big one that we found, or I found. That, um, that was, this is actually where we went, um, at the beginning of two episodes ago, where, when, uh, Jacinta joined the server. Okay, where's the, where's the chest for this one? I guess it's not really important that we show the loot on camera, but... This one also took me nowhere, but it is next to a nice view of a forest. Nice, could be a nice building location. Uh, oh, we did mark this one, okay. And this one, oh, I actually haven't even gone through this one yet. Well, this one's got a fire charge, flint, two gold, two enchanted golden hose, enchanted golden axe, couple of shovel, nuggets. Oh, uh, I don't remember who found this one, but uh, and I have a uh, ten obsidian on me actually. So, uh, all right, let's see where this one leads. Who but me uses fire charges? This one took us to a basalt delta. Um, there's no basic nether wars anymore, anywhere, so this isn't like coffee location. Which, by the way, I guess I could show that um, Jacinta actually did manage to find coffee. Is that a piglin brute? Okay, yeah. she actually did manage to find coffee and. Unless there's like um stuff like that could le leech off, it can leech off of. Coffee actually cannot really grow in the overworld, and it can't. And it can only grow in the Nether. But basically, it grows up, and then uh, you can still use bone meal on them in the Nether too. It grows up like this, and then you can right click little stems on the side. You can get yourself some coffee berries, and then you you can you can you can make red dot egg with it. You compost it. You chop it to make coffee beans, and then you can make different kinds of coffee with it. Um, it gives you a little bit of caffeinated as well. Okay, now while I was while um in the Nether, I actually was able to find a uh, a ruined portal in a uh, in the Nether. I've also found more of those blight blaze stalagmites, but I think the blaze stalagmites actually only have uh, uh, nether fortress loot chests. I don't really think maybe I don't really think they're worth going after. This chest has a golden shovel, golden carrots. That's awesome. Uh, gold and a golden apple as well. And when I went through uh, this portal. Oh wow, I got an advancement? <laughs> um... Use the nether to travel 70 kilometers in the overworld. Uh, that is 7,000 blocks, I think? Yeah. Okay. Um, I thought it was 6,000. But, uh, I guess 7 is fine. So this took us to a cave underground. That's kind of why I don't really like going through nether portals in the nether because a lot of the time I find it it like putting me underground but I was able to see I guess I can go into spectator and I can just kind of go up and I could shit oh that it took us to a uh, it took us to a to a warm ocean and there's actually a uh, mangrove swamp over here and I think I I think I did find something interesting here but I don't remember what it was and now that I've done that, is there anything else? I don't... Oh yeah, I think there's another pyramid I could find. Or, or that I did find, but one that I could show on camera. 
Oh, I love the eroded mesa. Alright, let's see if this one... There's a dead bush in here. Let's see if this one has any uh, ancient tomes for you. Um, this one's... This one's got uh, a enchanted book with piercing too. We got an emerald. More emeralds. And diamond horse armor. Do you know where um, ancient tomes generate? Strongholds in the and permanent in Well, we've got. I get that. Yeah. Well, we've got two more strongholds in this world we could potentially find some in. Uh, there's the, the three strong curve limit. Oh, jeez, I didn't realize you were here. <laughs> I wanted to do the, um, I wanted to do the outro with you. Okay. Well, um, I guess, I guess, um, thanks ladies and gentlemen for watching this episode of, uh, Clone Community Overworld. Thank you, uh, MK, for showing off all the awesome stuff in the, uh, in, uh, the Create mod. And, uh, I guess next time, uh, next time on Clone the Community Overworld, I don't have a plan. So when we do have a plan, we'll let you know. And I wanted to know, guys, do you think I should start, uh, posting, um, updates for Clone for the various Clone Communities in the Community tab on my page? If you guys think that's something I should do, ooh, wow, I, I really want to start doing that. If you guys think that's something I should we start doing, uh, go ahead and let me know. And be, once again, be sure to, uh, give us suggestions for adventures we can go on, and... Ways to spice up the videos and just make it a little bit more interesting. <laughs> and, well, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. And I seriously have no idea what's up with MK's microphone, but it's cool. Oh, silly me. I didn't explain how the banner, pa uh, the loom works. I don't know. And, uh, is just doing some, uh, stuff to force stuff on Okay, and, uh, basically, first you need to make, um, a banner. Now, you can't actually, like, dye the banners, yet they have to make them with the, uh, de designated desired color of wool. And then, basically, what you do is you, um, I need a banner pattern. Then you make a banner pattern. Now, there are some banner patterns that you can make, like a flower charge, which you can make with an oxide daisy, creeper charge, which you can make with creeper head, um, skull charge, which you can make with a wither skeleton skull, and a thing which you can make with a knot chapel, and globe and I don't know where globe is found, but I know snouts are found in uh in uh bastions. But uh, I actually had to use my used my uh, creeper my uh, creeper charge um one because yeah you can actually make um a. Uh, cookie cutter thing from for a festive delight and um, and uh, basically um, I guess I'll get the uh, snout one out the one I we got from the bastion and basically what you do is you put your banner pattern in and and you put a You put a uh, band inner pattern in, and then you put the color in, and you can you can make all these different kinds of designs. I don't, and uh, I think they look. I, I I like this. It kind of reminds me of like an NES game, but um, then you can, you can also put the uh, banner pattern in, and then it allows you to uh, make that. Whoa, that looks creepy. Actually, it kind of looks like, kind of looks like menacing eyes. And uh, you make a red snow. And that actually will not consume the uh, the banner pattern either, so you can use them an infinite number of times. So many different co combinations. And you can just really use the loom to spice up what your shields look like, and I think you do that by putting the shield and the banner pattern in. And there you go. I have a black shield with a red snow. Like, doesn't this just look so cool? 
So, and the cool, and the really cool, th I, well, I guess I could, I could, I could talk about that it's in the Twilight Forest series. So, uh, alright, bye guys.